Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, adoration be unto the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the one who is, who was, and who is to come. I want for bless God for your life this morning. I want for bless God for your family. I want for bless God for your faithfulness. Because God make we sleep and we wake we follow me and you to see this brand new beautiful day. This now the day where the Lord don't make we will rejoice and be glad in it. Therefore, the Bible tell we now the book of Matthew chapter four verse four. Jesus Christ said, "For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word will they proceed from the mouth of the Lord." And not only that, remember David the psalmist say within. The dead in the grave, they're not going to be able to serve the Lord. So therefore, wake your husband, wake your wife, wake your picking them, wake your entire household. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to you all. When I tell each other good morning, this is a wonderful day. As God will make, will they rejoice and be glad in it. So now we're there about for partake of the daily bread this morning. Bow your heads down this morning. And Lord, begin for bless the name of the Lord. Begin for tell God, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank God because in a good God, in a loving Father, in a merciful God, in a the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, we thank you, Lord, this morning. We exalt and magnify your holy name. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the ancient of days, the omnipotent and omniscient God. Father God, we just commit this very moment into your hands. Lord, we just commit, we lies and we commit this day now your hand. This now the day where you don't make, where they rejoice and be glad in it. Therefore, Lord, we pray that all the blessings then, Papa God, where you don't prepare, Father, for this day. Father, we pray that you go make we for be partakers of them blessings and they, in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you the glory, the praise and the honor. We love and appreciate you. You are a faithful and a wonderful God. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty and victorious name we pray. Amen. Now, once more, good morning. Good morning. Now, we are about for partake of our daily bread. Take your Bible. Take your pen. Take your diary. Take your notebook. Take your jotter. Take your pencil. Now, we want for partake of our daily bread. Today, the title of our daily bread, now, the marks of the Lord Jesus. The marks of the Lord Jesus. We daily bread this morning a title, The Marks of the Lord Jesus. Now, we memory verse, they come out from Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. Please open your Bible with me to Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. I read. Now, all read together. After two counts, one, to go from henceforth let no man trouble me for i bear in my body the marks of the lord jesus again after two counts one two go from henceforth let no man trouble me for i bear in my body the marks of the lord jesus again after two counts one two go from henceforth let no man trouble me for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Now we text the out from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 11 through verse 14. We text the out from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 11 through verse 14. I will read. But thou, O man of God, flee these things. And follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things, and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, 
until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Remember today, we topic now, the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now when we talk about a mark, waiting a mark, a mark means, say, now an impression, that is, where you stamp something, you stamp something for make, uh, uh, for let you able for differentiate that thing day from another thing. For instance, if una den a compound, una get boku book it them, and are the same rubber book it, almost the same color, but you now they take maybe hot iron, or you take a marker, you mark yum rubber book it, so that. I let that rubber book it there, a day among many other rubber book it there, that you young because you be don't mark them, and not go lost among the other one there. Neither somebody go claim and say, na in get up, because what you do, you don't mark them. Some man can mark in book it, some man in spoon, some man, you know, in property where it gets. So that's what it is. go able for differentiate them between the other people then we get similar property like that. Praise the Lord. So when we talk about marks, marks also they indicate right within the characteristics of a symbols where they use for identification or for indicate within the the, the ownership of that thing they, for say that thing they now Mr. Soso get her now uh, uh, Mrs. Soso now he get her or now Sister Soso get that property they or waiting then they mark them for identify so that the day when the person see that thing, he go say oh now me spoon that one day oh now me book it oh now me nef oh now me rog oh now me book na 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 me na me nef one day or now me get that property day because waiting you know, they don't take in time for mark hallelujah so also, we now need for no say, despite everybody, we all the profess for be Christian. And we get different, different, different denominations. But one thing I want for let we realize this morning, eh, this morning is that no denomination not in a heaven. Denomination not in a heaven. Now one grain person go get for go heaven, then are the true children of God. Hallelujah. So, my dear brothers and sisters, the Bible tell we say, God, you know, the one there, when I in you there. Just like how somebody can mark in property. Now, so, God, it they mark the one there, when I in true picking them. Hallelujah. Because, just like way, you can mark that property there, so that if somebody even gets similar, you know, property like that you kind day. Of, if it be says so say, in you not to of better quality, but just because you you know mark them, it can want for claim ownership of you when of better quality. Praise the Lord. And same way also in the kingdom of God. It no matter how we buckle who the flood na the church. You know, everybody they go, everybody say me na Christian, me na Christian, me na Christian, me na Christian. You know, he fine for let you say you na Christian. He fine for carry Bible. He fine for let you get Christian name. He fine for let you get position at church. You know, but all that thing and they, they not mean nothing if you not get the true mark. The mark when I in, they differentiate between you and the backslider, between the genuine child of God and the, fo the fake one, between the child of God and the one that when I hypocrite inside the house of God, you know, you need forget that mark now your body, that mark, and that mark they now only uh, Papa God they give that mark day, and that mark day they, they give for differentiate between we and the one that we not truly, truly belong to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In uh, Second Timothy chapter uh, two, please. So that means say God a the mark in your them. Second Timothy, Hallelujah. You know, um, in the Middle East, if you don't read or you don't study the history of the Middle East people, them one thing where they be always they do everything where they get then they mark them so that somebody else will not to get that thing they and not go come for can claim ownership. Unto the slaves, uh, even what they be they get, they be the both slave, they mark them, so that somebody else not go come, he say, that slave they, na me get her. So that na be the practice na the Middle East. Right? For let them go mark something, for identify 
that thing they say, Nami property. And if not a man gets sense for mark something, for like able for differentiate that thing they from somebody else in you, God na one when na ingi not a man sense for say not to all man where the wrong go na church na Christian. It belong to God. Mm -mm. Not to all Mary, na Christian. Not to all Patrick, na Christian. Not to all Francis, na Christian. Not to all Peter, na Christian. Not to all Paul, na Christian. Not to all Timothy, na Christian. Not to all Martha, na Christian. But the Bible tell we say God he get an identification mark when I in he they try for show the he indicate for say na in this man or this woman he belong to her. Praise the Lord. My question to you is this morning. Right, you get that mark day. If you not get that mark day, and uh, only God now in the get mark day. If you not get that mark day, then you they go to church tomorrow. Tomorrow, the Lord will say with him, Depart from me. I know you not, you workers of within iniquity. In Second Timothy chapter 2, I will read verse 19. So, it's not just good for say, I belong to that church today. They say, Hey, not to come a crowd, they go there. For God, for, for going at the church, we say, crowd, they go. You know, all kinds of things they happen there. Not to in at the tino. You know. God, they treat we like individual. Now, one to one, one to one, one by one. <laughs> we know they go heaven by group. Mm -mm. You, they go as individual. You, husband and wife, <laughs> even when the rapture, they take place, right? You, the wife, they go. The husband, they go. The picking, they go. Pastor, they go. Church member, they go. Worker, they go. Deacon, they go. Deaconess, they go. So that means, say, the pastor in your righteousness not go cover you, the church member, or you, the elder, inside that church day. You go in the mark we all, one by one. Hallelujah. Let us see in Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. It says, nevertheless... The foundation of God standeth sure. God in foundation, nothing not the shaker. The foundation of God standeth sure. What he is say? Having this seal. That seal means having this mark. A seal, a mark of identification. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are His. So that means say, if we they go to church, we boku, we boku, we boku, we boku, we boku. We did in with hundreds, we did in with thousands, we did in with millions. It no matter how large that congregation they they be. Papa God know the one that we not in you them. Because Papa God knows say, not to all my way they go to church, na heaven he want for go. Not to all my way they go to church, he want for live committed life. Not to all my way they go to church, he get the fear of God. So man they go to church, so man he did inside church, na lesbian, na homosexual, na drunkard, na humanizer, na fornicator. If I saw man he come up, Commit fornication, you know, na money and uh, early money, then they come for communion. All that not to really the issue. The Bible says with it, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from with him, depart from iniquity. You will get that mark, God a mark by you. The Bible says with it, you see. That man or that woman we get that mark now in life, we get that mark now in body. Hallelujah. The Bible say number one, in order to play with sin, in order to mingle with sin, in order to toil with sin. Hallelujah. Because when you don't receive the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ now your body, now a mark of holiness, now a mark of purity, now a mark of righteousness, now a mark where you stand alone and you tell God, say, God, I did for you. And you said, they for me. Praise the Lord. So we see, say, that Papa God is not ever change in standard for anybody. Praise the Lord. Papa God not ever, hallelujah. Papa God not ever, you know, change in standard for anybody. He not will ever change in standard. Hallelujah. So that means, say, he say, and having this seal, Papa God, he gets a seal. Now, like when you get a document, you put a stamp panel. So that where it will appear, for instance, if you want to post, you know, a letter from here to America, then they put that stamp on that document they, where they show who side the document come out, who side the document, the letter come out, and who side it they go. Praise the Lord. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we need for no say, Papa God, it gets a mark. And, you know, one distinguishing trait or quality where they indicate God in ownership, you know, now we realize them, number one, now purity of life. One of the things them we na in the mark we for say we na God in you na waiting na waiting na purity of life that is holiness. If you say you na God in you, you they smoke, you they drink, you they fornicate. 
What I mean fornication, that means a you were not married. You they go give your body to a man for later with time. We not married you na fornication that. Then you were married. You they go lay down for another man. You go lay down for uh, uh, another woman. Or you uh, you go lay you go lay down with another person in your wife. Now in a adultery. Hallelujah. So the Bible tell we say we we get God a mark now we life. We get God a mark now we body. We not people them. We not for play at all. We say if I that now one thing that where they mark you say you not a true child of God. That now they mark that where they show say you not the true child of God. Many people they go to church oh that one day I will tell you not true. But who people they go to church? But how many people true true now God in you them? Hallelujah. Because the Bible say for the foundation of God standeth with it sure. And let everyone that named the name of Christ for depart from it iniquity. Anybody will get that mark day. Where God don't mark, he don't get that mark day. Now, person, where they hate the things that we God hate, he, he love the things that we Papa God love. In Isaiah chapter 52, what did he say? Verse 11. He said, Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence. Thing. Go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. Be ye clean. Anybody will get that mark panna. Number one, na person where they live a, a clean life. Na person will not they mingle with sin. Na person will not be purged completely from sin. Na person where they live a life of holiness, a life of purity. Na person will not say bye bye, bye bye to sin, bye bye to the world. Hallelujah. The Bible tells we in the book of First uh, John chapter three. Please turn your Bible to First John chapter three. I go read. It say verse six: Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Fine. If you say you get this mark now, you lie. Whosoever means say bishop, father, mother, reverend, apostle, evangelist. Teacher, pastor, deacon, deaconess, sponsor of the church, CEO, lawyer, minister, president, you know, a, a counselor, paramount chief, whatever position where you say, where you owe, he say, whosoever abided in him, sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth had not seen him, neither know him. That is, when you get the true mark of the Lord Jesus Christ now your life, my dear brothers and sisters, Waiting at waiting they mark you like you did hate sin with perfect hatredness. So if some na church goer, na religion it they play. If you die, na hellfire you they go. If somebody say in a Christian, whether in name in name Patrick or Joseph or Francis or Thomas or uh, Paul or John, whatever name or Peter, where he don't carry and he they carry Bible, he join lodge, na lie he they lie. <laughs> Not a Christian no. You know what he do? Christian. The person will get the true mark of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us light and darkness and not they go together. Because what you do, Lord practice na complete darkness. How are no saying a complete darkness? You know, number one, when they want for go uh, you where want for go join Lord, you they apply. That application they then get for go interview you. Then then they interview you. When they don't interview una done, then they, they send out the day for una initiation. And that initiation day, buy boku 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 rum, boku boku whiskey brown, the you name it, all them hard hard liquor there. Now then they buy. That end day now, the party so the party can start by then nine o'clock. Then they dip and then twelve, twelve thirty, one o'clock. That end day now, all the one where they don't can serve the food now. When I don't eat now, they don't take their hard liquor there. The one they now where they go initiate. Now they don't take the hard liquor. So that why did they say that hard liquor day? Now for the punish where they get for go punish you, you. You, you when they go join. <laughs> you know what you mean? Then they drink that rum, they, then they drink that rum for kill their conscience. Because what you do, the Bible tells you about Romans chapter 1. It talks about what you do, all wickedness, not they go to heaven. So, when they don't drink that rum, they now, they enter that place, they now, they lock the door. Their woman, they wake up, the food go now, all man, they go out. You know what they happen now between that uh, 1 o'clock, they now, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3 4, 30 in the morning. By the time you they come out now, you're helpless, completely helpless, useless. Then you come out now, you wear clothes and all. Waiting that they pass you day. Not to think we find at all. So if somebody say he don't join lodge, 
they are in a Christian. Then if they go, if drink that rum, they for go punish your company for wicked your company. You know what in a wickedness? Wickedness now where somebody not do you know bad at all. But you now you 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 use your power and you drink. He said because you not member so so now he want for can join you now. You now say the punisher. Now in a wickedness. Now I made the Bible say in Romans chapter one say all wickedness and wicked people now hellfire. Then they go. Any society, no society, not they go ask anybody where join click. We don't join click, we join windy, we join poro, we join bundo, we join bangbani, we join girife, we join oje. You know, all the one them, where then they go initiate the people them, you know, what did then they do? They all then they drink rum, then they drink rum. You know what you make them they drink rum? Because naturally every human being you get conscience. I be don't preach on the conscience, not to one ten, not to two ten. I be don't preach on the conscience. You know what you make them they drink that rum day, then they drink the rum for kill their conscience because when you normal, you not go punish your company so they carry the punisher. But then they drink that rum day so that they for kill their conscience, let them appear like for say they don't get conscience at all. But I want to tell you, say, even if you drink that rum day, you kill that conscience day, therefore punish that person for cut part part in body, blood they come out, then you they laugh with them. You say, well, now nah, 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 the society this so, now nah, the thing this so, now we can't wait to say for tomorrow, you conscience day inside now nah, the inner part of your heart. As long as you have today in nah, that place, they, you conscience they take record of how now nah, go, how now nah, undress the pussy, how now. Nah, uh, bitter, how na cut part of his body, how na uh, uh, trip her naked, how na bitter, you know, I can sometimes wonder, intelligent man, intelligent man, you intelligent educator, who say you care your education go, for let you go go thin up, be big man, then trip you naked, then tie you, yeah, they begin beat you, take the last ceremony now, now inside the coffin, then they lock you now, then you take the covenant of death, then you now call all you picking them, and your family, you hand the problem over to them, and you wait, till. then you say now wait till. Yeah, now brotherhood fellowship. Who's brother? Our brotherhood fellowship that one day. Now so the Bible tell we no. The Bible not ever tell we so. So the Bible tell we say with it. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth are not seen him, neither know him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Not ever, he say, he that committed sin is of the devil. As long as what you they do nada nada oje place day nada bang bang nada bundo bush day na wickedness una na wait na na satanic practice you not go tell me say you get the mark of God God is not a wicked God God is not a wicked God in fact the Bible tell we say God is of purer eyes than to behold with iniquity so we see say he that committed sin is of the devil. He said, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was waiting, manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. There he said now verse 9, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. <laughs> he said with him, for his seed remaineth in him. In other words, the mark, the mark, a good day, sir, man. Anybody will say he belongs to God. Now God in mark, that seed they de pana. He said he cannot sin because he is born of God. He cannot sin because with him, he is born of God. Hallelujah. He said, in this the children of God are manifest. In other words, and the children of the devil. So some man where they go na church, na na for the devil, some man where they go na church, na the children of God. And if you are a child, a true child of God, there is a mark where they na your body. I pray today, if maybe you don't want to know the Lord, you don't go back into that things and day, or you don't know the Lord, or you don't backslide. I pray today that if that mark they be don't erase by you. Remember, if that mark the way God be don't place by you, for say you na in your property, if that mark you left, you don't say it erase, you die na hell you they go. Rapture take place, you not go make a at the end. I pray today that you you go stand. And that mark of ownership where Jesus Christ don't place on you, you go stand, you go remain faithful with the Lord in Jesus' name. Now, so now one thing that one day. So one of the things uh, where they distinguish we, you know, from the, uh, 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 where they make we, you know, where God they see we as in your name. Now we think, now righteousness and purity of life. Number two, he say. Another thing, when I in, God they take for Mark we, for be in you there, now waiting, now faithfulness. Faithfulness. The Bible tell we, when somebody, when a true child of God, the Bible tell we say, a true child of God, now person, we waiting, we faithful. In, in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. A man be found faithful. Faithful. Anyone who belongs to Christ, God expects that man to be faithful. Number one, 
If you're not a married man or a married woman, you for be faithful in your marital relationship with your partner, with either your wife or your husband. You're not going to say you're not a Christian. you married. Then you your own body. You they go give that your body to somebody else. We're not saying you married. For God defy that body day. The Bible tells we say, when you defy the temple of God, God in return, he will get for with it, for destroy that body day. You don't say God get power for destroy that body and send an a hellfire. Yes? That's what the Bible says. So, number one, your faithfulness, they cover the area of your marital relationship. My question to you is, you husband, you don't get girlfriend at corner. Then you can't, you can't pretend to your wife and you can't lie, lie, partner. You mean that your wife, if they do, if you die in that, right? The Bible says, fornicators and adulterers shall not see the kingdom. They are not see the kingdom of God at all. So, marital relationship. You, the wife, are you faithful to your husband? You get any boyfriend at corner. You, the man, you get any girlfriend at corner. Pull your hand, come on. You, where they not that choir day inside the church? You say, well, now we didn't that choir and what's not. Would that be tamper with your body? The Bible says you body at the temple of God. So God wants faithfulness from within your marital relationship. Then God also wants faithfulness, you know, in your human relationship and your service. Service to the institution. Service to the government. Now, if you say you're not a child of God, they mark for you way for me as a child of God. That committee or that officer, the manager, your CEO or your boss, if are able to trust you, what you know? Because the mark of a true child of God, the Bible says, it is required, you know, in a Christian or in a child of God, that a man be found with a, a man for be faithful. Let we see in the book of Daniel chapter 6. Daniel now be a very practical example according to the scriptures. You know, Daniel was a Christian and he also, he was a statesman. And the Bible tells we say, Daniel, he was a faithful man. In Daniel chapter 6, verse 4 to 5. Please open your Bible. He said, Then the president and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom. But they could find none occasion, none fault. Uh -huh. They could find. They can't they look inside the time book. Daniel not be ever, ever they arrive 8 o'clock. Uh, Daniel not be they ever arrive, you know, 8 o'clock. Then he go right with it. Uh, another time. When I like 7.30. No. If Daniel arrive 8 o'clock, now 8 o'clock. If Daniel arrives seven thirty, now seven thirty. If he arrives nine o'clock, now nine o'clock. Hallelujah! He was a faithful man. Then the president and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion, no fault, for as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. They said these men, we shall, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. In other words, we don't look through the, through the time book. Daniel, now faithful man, in order among the crooks. Today you find out for say, <laughs> the so-called born again, now their office is there. You know say the corruption, now they, they are on the inside for change money because they want more to car they want for the go give big tights in a church and what not <laughs> I, I want for tell you first i want for tell you something you when are you will say you're not christian you say you belong to christ christ know the one that winner in yonder he knows say you're not jebu you're not fake you're not counterfeit he knows say what you they do you know you're not sincere he knows say you're not hypocrite because what you do the bible say god is such the rain and the the reins and the heart of man. He know you in what thought. He know how you. He know you private and you public life. Hallelujah. Now in a David the psalmist in Psalm 139, it begins of say, "Where shall I flee from the presence from the presence of the Lord?" Who shall go run? God know you. He know you down sitting and you uprising. He know everything about you. He know that you kill you kill on a day for another office day. For say if you day panda you kill you kill day. You name day now now the sign them figure there. Remember say all their records that they own at the time so for siphon their money now they bank them more their NGO their offices them more everything you the maker and all eh. Tomorrow, tomorrow, God will bring them, God will for bring all their record and they before you on the judgment day. I want to let you know that one day. Because the Bible tells we say, the Lord knoweth them that. Expect say, when somebody say, you, now a child of God, now that office, if then they can with any yuki yuki, for change any figure, for do any kind of a malpractice, you go say, no, I not mix. Before that, let them sack you. If they sack you, God will provide another job for you. 
right? But, my dear brothers and sisters, heaven is greater than any material thing where you go acquire now this world, wait for making for me you lost your soul. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Having therefore food and raiment, he said, let us be there with, with it, content. We for content, we get contentment. Don't go put your hand, but that figure they, they first check, they first figure them. Wait then they waiting. You say you're not a child of God. There is a mark where they on a true child of God. If you say you're not a child of God, you and a pan, then you keep you keep business day. The Bible says, do and join in and the wicked, the compromiser. You are the compromise with your boss now office. You the mama the compromise with your picky. You the husband the compromise with your wife. You see how God be judge Ananas and Sapphira. Not so. Now because of what thing, my practice. Now because of what thing, crook. Now because of what thing, they were not sincere. Hallelujah. They want more money, you know. See how God judge Ananas and Sapphira. You feel say the God will judge Ananas and Sapphira. You where they work in that bank day, right? Now Unadepa, Okanaba, Dublos, Duplicity. Now you depa. Then we say I join choir. Yes, he pray for God join choir. But at the end, if Jesus said depart from me, I know you know. Who they they go sing for Naevo? You go find out say you don't waste your time, you don't waste your life, right? You wait in that government today. Una de pana no more. The yuki yuki. You <laughs> I, I used to tell una every day. You if you die, all that money where you gather so if you not can go you not care and go, you not care and go, they are not packer now you coffee, a packer inside that uh, um, uh, that shroud where they show. Where then they show for you for care go to Mara, right? <laughs> the Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die and after this the judgment. If you you not care that money they go, that money all that tiffy tiffy jankoliko, where you they go and tiff no more the chief when the chief they say when I don't empty all side. You that principal they, they take all kind bribe, you right? You say, Well, if I not lie, I not go eat and all. The Bible says all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire which burn it with brimstone and sulfur. That also it don't be if you not can go to my ashamed for you. You not care the money go, eh? That money or the foreign currency or the leo so the pound sterling or the the dollar demo or the one way you don't the one way you don't save now, yeah? the one way they over yonder. The day where you die, if they not go pull on a bank for put inside your coffee, if you not care and go, shame on you, a ah, shame for you, I ah, really really shame for you, right? <laughs> Papa minister, eh? <laughs> if you not care and go, a ah, shame for you, eh? <laughs> you eh, eh, lawyer, eh? deputy, eh, eh, CEO. CEO, you, you not care and go. You, you be a uh, paramount chief, you be honorable minister, counselor. All then you kill, you kill, oh, na de so, right? If you not care and go. God say what's it? The one that went in you then, one of the mark of in you now waiting, now faithfulness. My question to you is, that office where you did, you faithful. You mean say na posse you did do? Thief all what you did, thief, right? Samphone, all the samphone, siphon, all things, and write them, false report them. The Bible said they look for occasion for fine against Daniel. They look through the report, they look through time book, they look through the account book, but the man was waiting. They were able to find nothing against Daniel because waiting, he was a child of God. Daniel was holy, Daniel was pure, Daniel was sincere. Here. Hallelujah. Because Daniel, once he went Daniel be no say, where it is served in Babylon, he no say that office day not get for last day forever. And that right, he make a day, we put another office day, he get for go give account to that he make a day tomorrow. You not think say you the principal. You the lecturer, you the professor, all the money they were there picking them, they gather, 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 gather. Instead of let you tell them, say let them go study, right? Let them go study, my dear brothers and sisters. What did they do? You now they take all that money, they, you give them the mark where they not deserve and what not. Anything where you not build on integrity and faithfulness, not a better building, no. Now, like what you want for me, on that story, you know, building, then the building not get foundation. We say what they build, what, who say what they build, who say the foundation, who not get foundation, what they build, right? If, for instance, the lecturer, now they gather money, now from, now, they gather money, they pick it and they gather money, a uh, principal, they gather money. Then he showed the picking them, answer all the answers and uh, uh, what not. Then he give them the mark where they not deserve. Then very picking the answer tomorrow. Now then get for become president, vice president. Now then get for become CEO there. Uh, now then get for then become medical doctors there. Uh. The paper where they no say they get is not genuine at all. Remember, <laughs> what will they be? Will they say, hey, hello, the economy, they this and that and that. Now we see, Alec will build all the road there, yeah, so now so so crook they will put there, then get for damage all. What do The mark of faithfulness is not there in the country. Hallelujah. How many people today go knock in chess and me? This kind of thing, this guy, Yuki Yuki, they sabi, now he made the bureaucracy inside this country. Now God no more go come and purge this country. But one thing, with a pray day and night, God go must purge this country completely. He go root, would that if a root, and the one that we faithful, God will raise them up. Hallelujah. So, you see, say, 
that when you look at a country, somebody now, you don't go, you lecturer, you professor, you uh, CEO, you don't gather that money, they don't gather money, they say, well, pa, you don't say this exam be tough, but you know, now this will bring her, now you call water this, you hold her, then you wait, say, let you for let you go give them figure, you know, where you know, say they're not deserve, they're not study, no nothing, now that make the student, they say, they say not serious again, now one, one student now, they really study and pass, but most of the, the result that we they come on, not to better thing for this country at all, and then very people there, so we the lecturers, lecturers, we the uh, 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 principal, there, we the waiting self there, now and we they poor the country so now we they poor the future of the country because then people they ask on our world they give them their false certificates there now they tomorrow get for some ministers there now they get for tomorrow they get for some lawyers there now they get for some bankers and accountants there now they tomorrow get for some ceo there now the institutions there today because una we don't also now go una they go but on what foundation are we building are we building on faithfulness, integrity, and sincerity? The Bible tells us, David, the psalmist, say, within, may integrity now they preserve me. You know what they preserve a nation? Now, integrity. Faithful men, men of integrity. But you look today, you papa, how you life turned before you pick in there? Are you a father of integrity? Mama, how you life did before you pick in there? You that CEO, right? You, that honorable minister, that ministry, the way you did. What are you involved, man? You people that know. All the yuki yuki. All man know how you life did and what not. They you know they say hey this country yes yeah, so the country it's can go uh, what you say you know that then they make country sweet and sour now what it now with faithfulness because one thing where they give winner for all my benefit where one great person will take he put all in a pocket it will cause the whole nation for suffer because what you know faithfulness not the integrity not the character not the we not get principle so alone now we get the best policy one of the best policy then at the world. But how many of we they implement that? Now we set the air for poor. We do faithfulness not the so we say number one, one of the, the, the mark of ownership for so belong to God. Now we say now purity, righteousness, and holiness of life. Belong to Christ. God they expect you for be faithful. Faithful in finance, faithful in relationship, faithful in, uh, in your working place, faithful in handling, you know, the things that uh, where somebody go to can't can't sell Nami shop, you the thief. The medicine can't sell me pharmacy. Where you they go, you they buy the cheap one, you can go, you take the other one, the good medicine there. Now you they sell there at the end of the day. You, you faithful. What about you when a Christian? You they pay you tight, you they pay you offering. If you know they pay you tight, you know they pay you offering, then you are not faithful. Hallelujah. You when we talk about faithfulness, for let we even study the word of God. Now faithfulness go make you consistently they study the word of God. You na see you na you say you not Christian for even wait for prayer, na problem. You faithful to God? No, you're not faithful. So in we relationship, even you know, with with, with, with fellow man, even to with, with service to God, God they 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 they, they, they look into all that thing that you so when you say you not a child of God, God they expect say you for be with it, you for be faithful number one to God. Then number two, you for be faithful and sincere with yourself. You know, some people they, they, they're not sincere with themselves. Because when you know, say, this man, when a people married man, you can't keep you sister, you say you didn't have church, and what not. So, some are not sincere with themselves. You know, say this thing where are they do is not correct. And you know, say where are they continue for do this thing, the repercussion it goes so great now my life. Now that means you see, say some man, then they will on for pillar to post, then they look for problem for solve. You know, so waiting do yesterday when somebody be tell that the truth, and they vex. Just like today, when I talk, talk the truth, so, so I can even vex the radio in the ASA, it broken. But which one am I on the, right? You, the only thing we go set you free is truth, right? Me, your own duty, now for tell you the truth. The only thing we go set this nation free, now we think, not true. The only thing we go set your family free, not, not true. So, number one, the faithfulness, where God, which is, uh, you know, we, 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 we for allow, we as children of God, God wants we for be faithful, number one, to Ram. You faithful in prayer. You faithful in tight paying, you faithful in offering, you faithful for study the word of God, you faithful in your marital relationship, you faithful now you work in place, you faithful in human relationship with other people, where somebody give you in money for keep, you know the eat and then you run away in the area and whatnot, you know the thing about restitution tomorrow, you faithful, you that lodge, that that judge, you faithful, lawyer, you faithful, CEO, you faithful, Mr. President, you faithful, vice president, you faithful, honorable minister, you faithful.
king, you faithful. Queen, you faithful. Paramount chief, you faithful. Whoever, whatever position where you owe, God, the Bible tells us, we all get for stand one by one before God. Forgive account of we life who don't live in this world. Hallelujah. So, we for be faithful to God, faithful to we said, and also faithful to other people. Hallelujah. So, with faithfulness, go allow, you know, you know what faithfulness can bring to somebody in life? Faithfulness, they bring yeah, so many blessings to somebody in life. Number one, faithfulness will make God for reveal, in, for reveal in self to you in a greater way. Anybody with faithful, now possibly they fear God. And anybody where they fear God, God they make himself known to that person they, in a greater and a deeper measure. Now that make God promote Daniel. Daniel now be a faithful man. Daniel now be a man of integrity. Where they don't take all their food there, they don't dedicate unto their idols there. They now call Daniel for can't eat. Nobody not been there. But Daniel not say God day. So as a result, Daniel not partake of the food where they offer to idols because he not say the word of God a day against it. So when you faithful, God they reveal greater things than to you where others they know they know. That na one thing. When you become faithful, you be a man of integrity. God they reveal deeper things there. In fact, the Bible say the secret things that belong to them one day with the fear of God. Any man with faithful, now man of integrity, now man will get the fear of God. My question to you is today, would you the fear now that office? Would you the fear now your life? Now you can't be mortal man, then you left for fear of God. You the fear you can't be mortal man. Let's be careful. Hallelujah. Now, number two, faithfulness also it they bring opportunities to you. Where the one that where they're not faithful, God not they ever give them that opportunity. Day. Anybody when a faithful person, God they always give a greater privilege and opportunity. Where the one when not faithful, eh, not go ever expose her to their opportunities. Then they hallelujah. How I know you remember in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, not to so when Jesus Christ gives the parable of the talent, the one he give five, the one he give two, the one he give one, the one where he give one, he not be faithful at all. So what he happened now? When the master come, he said, now take the one where they are in hand and give unto the one where get the five. So faithfulness, it they open doors for you. It they create opportunities for you where the one we're not faithful at all, right? That one we're not faithful. You know, they get that kind of opportunity there. Hallelujah. So in whatever area where you did, you go say, well, nobody know they see me. When I did your faithfulness, they come. They, uh, Joseph now be a faithful uh, a man. When Potiphar and wife been come, he come for kind leader with her. He said, no. Although nobody know they, but God will then, if God get eternal yai, God they see me. I know go can lead on. I know go do this wicked thing. He run away from the woman in hand. Now he go. Hallelujah. Now I may God bring Joseph to the throne. When somebody faithful, God they promote that man. I pray today, as you remain faithful, you know, inside that office, you know me to you key, you key. Now that married, oh say, you remain faithful. Now that church day, for cut the church offering, you know they tamper with her. You remain faithful. When somebody go give you money, for go buy something for her, you go buy that thing, you can't with the chain. Today, as you remain faithful, God will promote you in Jesus' name. God will open more doors for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So, we say, number two, Faithfulness is the waiting. It they create doors of opportunity for you. It they open doors of opportunity for you. Where you not ever, where God not will ever open to somebody way unfaithful. Then also, God it they take pleasure for answer the prayer, you know, from the one day we faithful. Hallelujah. So when somebody is faithful, when that person they he cry unto God, you know, God they answer in prayer. Sometimes he they ask, what do you make? I they pray, I they pray, I they pray, I they pray. God not they answer your prayer. You faithful, you faithful. You when they say, hey, don't tell me how they pray, how they pray, but God, God not they answer me prayer. You faithful? You faithful? Now, me question that to you. God be get for answer Daniel in prayer in the lion's den. What do Even when they send her inside the lion den, when Daniel prayed because he was a faithful man, the Bible tells you, say, God shot, he said, angel, they lock their lion den, they mort. They're not able to eat Daniel at all. When you faithful, immediately you cry unto God. Hallelujah. Immediately you cry unto God. Papa God himself, he did answer your prayers. Hallelujah. So we see, say, that that now the second mark. Remember the first mark of a true child of God. Now wait in. A true child of God. Now wait in. Now, purity, holiness, and righteousness. Now, the second mark, now wait in. Now, faithfulness. Hallelujah. Then, the third mark, another mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
on in picking them now waiting na obedience obedience to do the will of god hallelujah jesus christ he come for fulfill god in perfect will for in life now so the bible tell me now the book of hebrews chapter 10 verse 7 please open your bible hebrews chapter 10 verse 7 what is it then said i lo i come in the volume of a book it is written of me to do thy will Oh God, hallelujah. My question is, are you living according to God's perfect will for your life? <laughs> That's not a question where they ask you now. Jesus Christ came for come with him, for do the will of God. The Bible says he became obedient unto with him, unto death. Jesus Christ now be obedient person. Now, you know, sometimes you now want to let God work mightily on your behalf. But my question to you is, are you obedient? Some man they go to church, they're rebellious. When the word of God says this, they pull a yeah, they put a yeah. When you say this, they pull a yeah, they put a yeah. When you say this, they pull a yeah, they put a yeah. You don't know, say, if God for bless you, God will bless you based on waiting the life of obedience. Hallelujah. Where you they live? What did the Bible tell we say? Now the book of Philippians chapter 2. What did it say? He say, verse 8, And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And became obedient. Hallelujah. Are you, you they obey the word of God? From where God, when you don't hear the word of God, say, that man will not marry you. Let you come out there. If you want you at all, at all, you body at the temple of God. Enough for the defy that body day. You suppose or waiting. You for obey. You for obey. You for obey. The Bible say, now the book of Isaiah chapter 1. What is say? What is obedience they do in the life of a man? When you obey, my dear brothers and sisters, now one of the signs and that, where they mark for sure, say, you are a child of God. Anybody where they rebel, you they rebel against the word of God and you they live contrary life, then you say you are a child of God. Now, now you they lie. Let us see what in the Bible say in Isaiah chapter 1. You know what it is, say, verse 19. It say, If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. If you rebel, Right? That means say, what did they cause the suffering in the life of many people today? From where God don't they talk to you? You don't carry out all your restitution? That man the way you deal with. Now poopoo man. Now somebody else in your man. Now you don't go put your arm pan. Or that woman day. Now somebody else in your wife. It not even matter if you're not a bishop. As long as that woman will marry, not to your first wife. Your first wife they are alive. You not die. Yet. According to what the book of Romans chapter 7, verses 4 to 5, it tells you that as long as the man in wife, in first wife day, in first woman day, you not get right for go marry to her. That man day, if he go take it, put in a house, na adultery he commit with you. You that woman day, that man day, na adultery he commit with you. So, the Bible tells you, say, many people they suffer today. Why? Because they, they suffer because uh, because of which disobedience. The Bible tell me now the book of Isaiah, uh, uh, Job chapter 36 verse 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in within pleasures. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without within, without knowledge. So if you obey God, one of the marks them, where they show say, you are a true child of God. Now within, not only faithfulness but obedience. Hallelujah. So anything where they bring shame or reproach to the name of Christ, you know, not to God in will for your life. That's the way you they do. You they do it, you know, say the word of God they against it, but blatantly, deliberately, you they do them. You know what it they happen. So God, you just they tell the world and the devil say, and not belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because if you are involved, for instance, if you're involved in any business deal, who say, you know, they, if that business deal, they, if they require you for the talk lie. Now, so, so lie, lie, you they lie, lie, lie. At the end of the day, even some customers and some people that would they come around, they're not so what you they talk, now lie. To not be there inside what you they talk. But just because you want money at all costs, you know what you they happen, so you they deny Christ completely. Hallelujah. And if you engage in immorality and you they cut corners there, my dear brothers and sisters, you need to check your life. Hallelujah. That business is what you they do. Where they make all the time, you they lie. Where they make all the time, you they Talk things that we're not supposed to talk. My dear brothers and sisters, you need to check yourself because if you continue in that kind of business, day, right, you go miss the will of God. And when you miss the will of God, then definitely you they go hell. That one day you patch, patch business, not a partner at all. Hallelujah. So, as a wife, you obedient to your husband. As a husband, you love your wife. You the wife, you submit yourself to your husband. You the husband, you love your wife. Because when we talk about obedience, you the picking, you the obey your papa and mama. 
You, the office worker, you they obey your boss. These are all areas where they mark we for say we are true children of God. Hallelujah. So, as I they say, you not get eternal life, you not get the mark of God. And the Bible says, Hereby perceive we the love of God because He laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Praise the Lord. So, we see, say, my dear brothers and sisters, me and you too, we need within for for forget the mind of Christ. We need the love for commod that we had. That love they for grow out of sincerity and fervent devotion to God. Hallelujah. And the indicators and where they should say somebody get love now in heart. Number one, that person will get love na selfless person. Not a selfish person. Now person we kind. Now person we humble. Now person we 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 we, we get self discipline and now person where they live a holy and a clean life. So love can endure evil. It is beer. Love the beer. Even when somebody do you, then they provoke you, right? In not they feel with resentment or hate or revenge. Love is good. Love is courteous. Love it is suppressed within. It is beer. Hallelujah. Love. You know they easily grief love. Somebody will get love. Sometimes he hot and wanted to tell. It's still the beer. Hallelujah. And my dear brothers and sisters, you need for no say love the control and restrain passions. Hallelujah. That means you know go say you get love. You know that brother then at then at church. You that brother you go and sleep with that sister. They not to love that one. They now immorality that one day. Right? If you love him, you go marry that. Hallelujah. So we see say then Max and Yasu. You need for bear them on your body. Just like we Paul say with it. I am now with it. From henceforth, let no man with it. No man trouble me. For I bear in, I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, say Marco. He say marks. That means, say, you know, not different, different things. Like, what well, I don't outline that to you. Waiting at the mark number one today. Purity, holiness, and righteousness of life. If that one day not day now you lie, it no matter how big your Bible be, you they go to church, now waste you they like, waste your time. It no matter which position or title, position or title where they give you, now for nothing. Then the second thing where I say you need to faithfulness, now you lie. Then within I say then number three. Uh, you need with it obedience. Then number four, now love. If then things are you know then you like. I want to let bow your heads now this morning and begin for thank the name of the Lord and begin for uh, uh, pray unto God for let God come and have mercy upon you because if the rapture for take place, you not get them marks there so now you like because as I tell you, you they mark something for differentiate them for distinguish that thing for differentiate them between your property and somebody else in your property. Satan in your they said the good church, but God he gets a mark where it is for mark. You may question to you, you get them four marks there so today, now you like, according to the teaching, if you not get her at all, then you not to God in property. And if you not be God in property, if you die, you could be separated from God. If the rapture takes place, you could be separated from God. So bow your heads now this morning. You suppose to get that mark today. Bow your heads for Lord, thank the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you this morning for where you wake me up this morning. Father, floor, for here you word. We give you glory, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We thank you, Papa God, because of this great privilege this morning. We don't listen to you word. We give you glory, praise, and honor. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. One for pray this morning as you bow your heads down. Now, my question to you once more. As we don't read, Paul say, God be mark him. He say, we get the mark of Jesus. My question to you is, you get that mark today? <laughs> Number one mark now, we say, the purity of life. You see the smoke, you see the fat, you see the cost, you see the bamboo you still join that clip you see the go lodge meeting and then you say you're not christian you know to christian you don't get the mark of jesus christ you know that you like light and darkness not they ever be part d it's not possible so bow your heads this morning and begin for confess your sins and to papa god begin ask papa god let god have mercy on you let god forgive you let god cleanse you let god wash you in the mighty name of jesus papa god now heaven we tell you plenty thank you this morning we give you all the glory all the praise all the honor all the adoration papa Papa God, we bless your holy name this morning, Lord, because you don't open with ears, for Lord, we hear it from you. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, say this prayer after me. Papa God, now heaven, I tell you plenty, thank you, for the love and concern where you get for me. You don't want me for go hell at all. Now, you make me. Me, now you property. You, now me God. I confess my sins then to you. You mark not the name body. I've been just done the go church. I they carry Bible. Or I they go butu butu say I they pray. I they pan juju. I they put pan sara. I they drink. I they smoke. I they bamboot. 
are the faith, are the cause, me and the past society business, Papa God, today, I come to you. You say, anybody will get all them years on in life, you mark not the pana. Lord, have mercy for me. What's me today? Today, I open my heart. Jesus, come inside my heart. I did take you today as my Lord and my personal Savior. I bless you. I worship you. I adore your name. Thank you, Papa God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We now want for pray. You say, O oh Lord, purge my life today from all filthiness. Everything where they make the mark of God not in your body. We want for pray. You say, O oh Lord, by the power in the blood of Jesus, Papa God, wash the inside of me. Wash the outside of me. Wash me life from all filthiness of the spirit of my soul, of my body, in the mighty name of Jesus. Papa God, purge me life from all fitness of my spirit, of my soul, of my body, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We give you all glory, all praise, all honor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. One for pray. You say, O oh Lord, deliver me from all worldliness. Deliver me from all carnality. Deliver me from all lust. Deliver me from materialism. Papa God, deliver me so that I will receive that mark day in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, I cry unto you this morning and cry on behalf, Father God, of my brothers and sisters. Father, deliver we from all worldliness, from all carnality, from all materialism. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we don't make Papa God, we not, you're not able, Father God, for place you mark upon with life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you the glory, the praise and the honor. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. One for pray. You say, oh Lord, give me power for subdue the flesh. Papa God, give me power for subdue the flesh, the works of the flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord this morning we call upon your name. Give we power. They cannot please God. They cannot see God. I pray oh God this morning Lord we pray that God you give we power. Give we power for subdue all the works of the flesh Now we lies in Jesus name. Lord we give you the glory, the praise and the honor. We bless your holy name because you are a faithful God. We love and appreciate you. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. One for pray. You say oh God arise. Give me lord 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 no make a frustrate you grace now my life in jesus name papa god arise help me not to for frustrate the you grace now my life in the mighty name of jesus papa god i they pray that you help me today in the name of jesus not for frustrate paul say with it i not frustrate the grace of god papa god pray that lord you give me that power that grace papa god that we not go frustrate you grace and you walk now we lies in jesus name father we thank you we give you all glory all praise all honor in jesus mighty name we pray would they pray you say oh lord by the power in the blood of jesus i uproot anything papa god when one for take my name away from the book of life in the name of jesus papa god every sinful act every sinful thought every sinful practices papa god within my life then i mean heart it didn't mind oh lord by the power in the blood of jesus i uproot anything papa god we want for frustrate we want for frustrate you grace and me life i uproot them. anger Papa God, eh, unfaithfulness. Papa God, lack of integrity. Papa God, immorality. Lost. Papa God, compromise. Papa God, you know me. Lord, anything. We go on for take me name away from the book of life. Papa God, I pray. You uproot them by fire. We uproot them by fire. We uproot them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. One for pray. You say, oh Lord, help me for work worthy. For please you at all times. That God, you go mark me like papa god help me for work worthy let not just be a christian christian by name but let be christian by character in the name of jesus make me a man a woman of integrity papa god i pray make me for be faithful oh lord help me for work worthy help me, help me to be faithful help me for be a man a woman of integrity help me for please you at all times father god at the end of my life i will see you face to face in jesus name one for pray you say papa god give me grace for live a holy life in the name of jesus to the very end in the name of Jesus, Papa God, I they pray right now this morning that God, you go give me the grace for live a holy life so that at the end, that mark we Paul being get, that mark with the um we life in Jesus' name. Lord, we praise you. We give you glory, praise, and honor. We bless your holy name. One for pray this morning. You ask God, you say, Papa God, let you word 
get root in my life. Papa God, let you all get root in my life and help me for grow in you spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus. Papa God, let you walk it get root. Let it take free cause. Let your word get free cause in my life and help me for grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you the glory, the praise, and the honor. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name we pray. Amen. One for prayer. Say, oh Lord, arise and destroy every oppression, every failure, every setback, every poverty, every affliction in my life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we call upon your name this morning that God arise in the name of Jesus. That Father, Lord, every oppression, every Father God, every failure, every setback, now we lie, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy by fire in Jesus' name. We want for thank you. Father, we give you praise, glory, and honor. We want for pray this morning. Pray that God will make you hunger and let you thirst after righteousness throughout the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. If you not get them marked there, as soon as we body, it no matter what you now you tie to, God say, You know the one that we now in you there. You not go, you go deceive much, but you not go deceive God at all. Hallelujah. Pray that God will make we hunger and thirst after righteousness. Papa God will call upon you, name. Man, help we follow hunger and thirst after righteousness as from today in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. We now want for pray. You say, Lord, make me for be a candidate for the rapture in the name of Jesus. That that day, you know, will take we on our way as in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We love and appreciate you. We love you. We adore you. We glorify your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name we pray. Amen. Now, we want for pray for Sierra Leone today. Papa God, now heaven. Let we begin for call on God in name. Now righteousness, the Bible says, I exalt a nation, but sin and reproach to any people. Now pray that today, in the mighty name of Jesus, Papa God, we bring Sayalio, we lay salo, now you altar, have mercy upon we. Papa God, you see corruption everywhere. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Papa God, we we'll pray for your intervention, child trafficking, occultism, ritual killing. Papa God, Father Juju, all oh, them bad, bad in there. Papa God, you see idolatry, adultery, fornication, hatredness, bitterness, hypocrisy, pretense. Papa God, we pray, murder, we call on you. Father, let you have mercy upon we as a nation this morning. Purge this nation, cleanse this nation, revive this nation, restore this nation in Jesus' name. We they pray now for the church and all missionaries are all over the world. Papa God in heaven, we they pray for the church and missionaries. Are. We pray for the church now, Sigalio. Lord, we pray for integrity. Father God, raise men and women. Papa God of integrity. Papa God at the local churches, the one that we they go preach. Father, without fear and favor. Father, we pray that holiness and righteousness it will take over every local church now this nation in Jesus' name. That at the end, Papa God, Lord, where you go come for can rapture the church, we go there among that number in Jesus' name. All oh, Papa God, missionaries, we they suffer persecution, we they suffer one thing or the other. All over the world, Papa God, we pray that Lord, you intervene and Lord, you go ahead of them, you turn them and you work a miracle for them in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Lord, pray for salvation, the salvation of relatives and we love ones. Eh? Papa God, now heaven, we they pray now this morning for the salvation of we relatives and eh? we love ones, and we mama, we papa, we brother, we sister, we cousin, eh? father, we niece, eh? we nephews. Eh? Papa God, we they pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, arise, O oh God. Papa God, wherever the devil don't chain them, Father, I pray you break all their chains and they, in their lives in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that God, you set them free in Jesus' name. They want the way they don't marry, then they look for the fruit of the womb. I pray for them. God, you give them their miracle in Jesus' name. They want the way they don't marry, they don't take him, then they await Papa God for safe delivery. We pray, Papa, that Lord, that pregnancy day, we commit and that you have, they will get safe delivery in Jesus' name. Papa God, the one that we single, they're not marry the oh lord arise and go locate their life partners in jesus name lord we thank you we give you all glory all praise all honor lord we thank you lord pray and cancel all satanic dreams all evil dreams and establish the good one papa go i cancel this morning all satanic dream, all evil dream, all dream of failure, all dream of backwardness, all dream of confusion. Papa God, in the name of Jesus, premature death. I cancel, I cancel, I cancel in your life. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. We give you all glory, all praise, all honor, all adoration. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, one for pray. 
Lay your hand and you put the other hand on. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, O God, and commit me, brother and sisters, and your hand. Lord, even as Lord, we don't hear it. We don't hear it this morning. We don't talk to We Paul say, in the the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ now in body. And you say, for the fo your foundation stands sure that you, you know the one that we now you there. And you get a seal. We don't think for seal the one that we now you. Father, they pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I commit me, brothers and sisters, and even as we don't cry to you this morning, Lord, all the one that we did not get the mark. Some man be get the mark, some man be done backslide, the mark don't be erased. Father, I pray this morning that God, you restore everything again in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, we they pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Every damage we sit and be done done to Father God, to Lord, you people there, their life and their destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, repair that damage this morning in Jesus' name. Father, I give you the glory, the praise and the honor. Father God, I commit this morning, now you hand this lady, you know, you did in a relationship where the person where you deal with, you know, say not to believer, now unbeliever in the opposite religion, but just because you are married at all costs, you still touch, you attach yourself, and any time when the word of God they come, you they get fear that you like. But this relationship, you still there inside this relationship. The Lord say He don't say He they warn you. You for pull you and come up at that relationship. If not, if you die in that relationship, they you they go hell. That our number two. That man they not so you partner, you fastener. He get for wreck your life at the end of the day. He married another woman, so he better they just hands off from that relationship. I pray, oh God, whatever manipulation you can want for left the relationship or something. They draw you, he hook you back to that relationship. You don't make the attempt about three times for left, but you're not the able. Father, I pray. Anything we don't tie, Papa God, this is your daughter. Father, to this relationship, this ungodly relationship, I pray, oh God, you break that power, you break that power, you break that power, you release completely a life in Jesus' name. Father God, I give you glory, praise, and honor. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. This young man, you get chronic infection. As I they talk so, you get chronic infection. And this infection, yeah, so, where you they take, in fact, you don't take different, different, different antibiotics there. You know, they, you know, they well at all. <laughs> but, you know, you, you of yourself know which are the talk so. You know which are your problem. Your problem, now, this woman, woman business. Now, you know your issue. And that, that infection, they, it don't chronic, it don't really chronic by you. You don't know what it for do. And if they trouble you, I want to lay, lay, lay you under your bottom belly. If you go promise God, say God, and not to go back again into immorality, Papa God will show you mercy to you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray right now, by the anointing power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I take authority over this infection. Where the man are this young man? Father, I pray. Let that infection dry up today in Jesus' name. Every power behind that infection are completely destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you glory, praise, and honor. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want to let this woman, you yai, you want yai, you know they see with them. You know they see with the one yai. Lay you under the radio. Papa God na heaven, I they pray in the name of Jesus. This partial blindness, this one yai of this woman, we you know they see. Father, that scale, we don't cover that yai. I command that scale to be lifted up in Jesus' name. Father, I destroy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory, praise, and honor. This woman, you get diabetes. Hey, you sugar level this so up that throughout the night you're not able for sleep. Diabetes in the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority right now. Oh, Papa God, this woman, touch the radio. Lord, this diabetes, where really the trouble this woman, we make all night you not sleep in the name of Jesus. I destroy her. I destroy her. I destroy her. And I command your sugar level to be normal in Jesus' name. Father, I give you the glory, the praise and honor. Lord, I they pray right now, in the name of Jesus, every bondage within their life, bondage of witchcraft, occultic bondage, juju bondage, in the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy this morning, in Jesus' name. Father, God, every damage with the enemy done done to their life. Father, I pray, you restore this morning, in Jesus' name. Lord, I they pray right now, that Lord, anything will be done to hinder them from greatness. Father, let it give way now, in Jesus' name. Father, God, I pray, I plead the blood of Jesus over their life, and I pray that God, you give a total and permanent victory. Lord, this woman with this high fever, throughout the night, you get high fever. I rebuke that fever. I rebuke her out of your life. I rebuke her. I rebuke her. I rebuke her. I destroy her. Now, in Jesus' name, all that pain there, now your body, I destroy in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I give you all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. We lift you. I will glorify your holy name. I cover the all life with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty and victorious name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning. Have a beautiful and a wonderful day. Amen.